Hi, hello, how are you? Hi, 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 hi. Gracia, how are you, girl? Heidi, how are you? Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. That's good. That's awesome. Oh my God. I was supposed to be a girl session, but Ale arrives. <laughs> Ale, I'm sorry. How are you, sir? Hi. Hi, hey. teacher. Oh my God. Ale, now you have different shirt. No, but not like my one. My one is very red. No, it's like green color. Hey, how yeah. was your day, Mr. Ali? It was um, busy. Busy? Um, I'm, I'm a little bit tired. Yes, I can I can see that. <laughs> yeah, the classes are um, very... Um, I don't know what, how I say that. Um, overwhelmed? 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. But... Okay. But I'm so happy that you're here, even though it was a really hard, tough day for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you already drank a, like a cup of coffee or something like that? Um, not yet, but I have water. <laughs> oh, okay. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Or a cappuccino, you know, a chocolate or a Coke. Oh, fantastic. That's uh, fancy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sh All right. Very good. Hey, you know what? At the beginning, we were only girls. And then yeah. you appear like, ah, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and we have Ivan now, and we have Juancito. Yeah, and we have Jason. So we're good. We're good. Very good. I'm so happy. Yeah, you know what? I'm sorry for being a little bit late, but I was explaining something with other guys because today's topic, guys, will be a little bit uh, not overwhelmed, Alejandro, but it's like a little bit, a little bit hard to understand. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Okay. Guys, do you remember that I that you were supposed to do a homework? Yeah. Ay, Ale. Bea, Crescia, Heidi, Ivan. I don't remember, Francisco. teacher. Yes, you never. I don't remember, teacher. I, know, I, know, I, I don't I remember. lost my mind. You lost your mind completely. <laughs> yes, of course. I lost my mind, yes. Uh -huh. And did you at least read the information, or no, read the information that I sent it to you guys? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yes or no? Yes, I received. All right. You received the, the information. All right. What was the information for? Do you remember? Uh-huh. Was about a comp adjectives, right? How we transform it. How you hey guys, do you remember that yesterday we asked a big question? What? It is more funny or funnier? So what was the answer? Funnier. 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 Very funnier. good. <laughs> now you know forever and ever, right? All right. Yeah, so we need to like make a refresh, guys, about adjectives and everything. Yeah. Because if you notice, we're going to use them. We use them a lot. I know it's easy in Spanish, right? Because we use them, we know that, and it's our language. But in English, we need to like increase a little bit our, our vocabulary and our knowledge. Because in here, in this topic, we're going to use it a lot. Not only for professions, but also for something else that you would like to compare. For example, if you would like to compare uh, apartments with houses, for example, you got to learn some, some additives, right? Mm -hmm. And other things like that, for example, or um, vehicles like motorcycles and like bikes, for example. You got to use comparisons to talk about pros and cons, right? So that's why I emphasize on that. And uh, I think that when I sent it to you, let me ask you, was it useful, the information that I sent it to you? Was it useful? You know what useful yeah. is? That it's means, uh, it's, it, do you think it will help you? Okay. Yes, exactly. Yes or no? Yes. yes. Yes, okay, you're better, you're better. Yes, but please read it, okay? <laughs> read it. Yes. Yes, because if you make that mistake again, I will quick. <laughs> oh, yes. I know. <laughs> no, because the purpose of the information is not just for you to keep it there. It's just for you to learn it and, uh, and try to like improve that way you speak. 
That's why I sent it to you. That's why I took time to search for information that I consider that it will be better and easy for you to understand. Because there will be, sometimes there are like a lot of explanation about a lot of terminology, history about where that word comes from and all the stuff. And like, oof, you said, I'm not gonna know about that. Yeah. That's why I tried to search information that will be easy, a little bit easy for you. Mm -hmm. And now, guys, yesterday we were talking about comparisons with nouns and with adjectives, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Now, guys, we will continue with our topic, but we will, now we're going to learn comparisons with verbs and with past participles. Okay, the second one could be a little bit tricky because you have to remember the past participles. We have guys in English present participles and past participles, but with comparisons, we're gonna use a past participle. So you better like refresh your minds with verbs because guys, I had to let you know something. Uh, color verbs. Okay, who sent it to you? Okay, Nurse Tina. Okay, thank you, Ernestina. Oh no, Ernestina is for another group. Okay, so guys, let's start here with the verbs. Okay, can I have an example of a verb, Betty, Beatriz? A verb, tell me any verb. Could be regular or irregular, doesn't matter. Uh, any verb, what? Study. Study, very good. Mm -hmm. study. Study. Another verb, Ale? Um, write. Write, very good. One seat to another verb? Drink. What? Drink. Which one? Drink. A drink. Ay, Juancito. Drink. Uh, uh, those examples, come on. <laughs> Heidi, what about you? Um, cook, dance. Dance, okay, thank you, Iris. Heidi, what about you? Um, fly. Fly, very good. Ivan, what about you? Sing. Sing, yeah, excellent job. Um, Sonny, what about you? What do you have? Play. Play, all righty. And da, 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 oh, or everybody answered, right? Okay, cool. And me, teacher. I'm oh, sorry, Gracia. <laughs> okay, swim. What swim, excellent job. Very good. Now, guys, let's think about verbs related to professions. One verb, work, right? Work. I sent it to you. Another verb related to professions? Build. Build. All right, build. What about what we get? What we get? Hey, very good. Oops, sorry, I, I, I'm going to send it again. Pay, hey, like this, the second week. Okay, what about when we, for example, compare the salary, what is the, what is the name of that verb? When we compare salaries. For example, mm. this profession than the earn. other profession. Earn, very good, exactly. Earn, earn money. Okay, very good. So now guys, let me teach you something. Let me share right now my screen. And basically, if we're talking about comparisons with verbs, guys, uh, we're going to use exactly the same comparisons that we have seen yesterday. Remember those? Do you remember those? Yeah. yeah. Which one, Ale? More. More less. than. Okay. Uh, it's not us. I have more than as us. Very good. What it's, else? Uh, with harder than uh -huh. the verb. Harder than, the... very good, yeah. What, another one, less than? Less than. Uh -huh. Another it's one? Done. Worse. Not. Worse than, it's very good, Juancito. As mm. hard as. As hard as, as us, very good, as us. Mm -hmm. and, and the other one? It could be also better negative, off. right? Better, better than, worse than. Excellent. Isn't, oh, as much as, right? As much as, as many yes. as, right, etc. Very good. So basically, guys, we're going to use exactly the same, but this is going to be different. Uh, 
the, the difference will be the position, guys, of the verbs in the comparison sentence, okay? Oh. I just want you to take a look at this because normally, guys, uh, when we're using comparison with nouns and with adjectives, it's going to be in the middle, right? In the middle of the two parts of the comparisons. But take a look at this one. So let me share right now my screen with you. And I want you guys to, can you see my screen right now, guys? Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Okay, yes. cool. Okay, no, let, let me no, raise something no. here because this is not supposed to be here. At least not right no, now. No. No. Okay, very good. Okay, guys, so let's pretend this one. Who can give me an example of a profession? Any profession, guys? Any profession? Um, uh -huh. Mechanic. A, a mechanic. Okay, a mechanic. A mechanic. E, uh -huh. A mechanic. Hey, let's use this Teacher, one. I can see. You can see or you can't see? I can't see. Why you cannot see? Well. They... Would you like me to put it a little bit better? Classroom. What about now? Much better? In my case, it's blurry. It's blurry. Yeah, but it's better. Now. I think it's better. Now. It's better? Uh, Juancito, is it better? Juancito? No. No? no. Oh, okay. No. Let me check if I can do something else, Juancito. Okay. I need glasses. Yes, that could be. <laughs> okay, Juancito, don't worry. I will try to make it as bigger as possible, okay? Don't worry, Juancito. That's what I'm here for. All right, there you go. You could say day eight, right, guys? We're in day eight. All righty. So let's double check here. Okay, Juancito, don't worry. I will help you. Okay. I will try to do something here. So let me just a couple of minutes, but I'm going to. Yes. I'm not going to share right now my screen with you. I'm going to work right, uh, a little bit. Uh, faster for also one Cito are able to to see what we're going to do because I want one Cito to see it. For me, it's really important that he understands as well. All righty, there you go. Don't worry, boy Cito. I almost finished. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let me check this one. There you go. All right. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, I will share right now my screen with you. There you go. There you go. Okay, Juancito, don't worry. You cannot see it right now, right? Not yet? What about now, Juancito? Is it much better? Yes. Yeah, right, finally, teacher. Okay, cool. So this is what I want, guys. Basically, comparison, right? With verbs and past participle. Excellent job. Okay, guys. Let me do something here. We can use more than, okay? More than. Do you remember, guys, that one of the verbs that we were talking about related to professions are bill, uh, work, earn, right? So let's use an example. No. Uh, you said, uh, what is that? What was the, the, the profession, guys? Doctor. A doctor. Mechanic. A mechanic. Oh, Very good. Nurse. A mechanic. A mechanic earns more money. Oh, no. We can use, we're going to use less. Less money than what other profession, guys? Uh, a, a lawyer then a lawyer very good then a lawyer all right excellent okay guys i just want you to take a look at this okay here guys where is the part of the um, of the comparisons where is it uh-huh is here right we have less Less and done, right? Less and done. Okay, cool. But let me ask you, in this sentence, a mechanic earns less money than a lawyer. In this sentence, 
Where is the verb? Where is it? Which is the word that, that is give you the clue that is a verb? Which one? Mm -hmm. Which is the verb here? Uh, yeah. Ernst. Uh, Very good job. And guys, do you notice that the verb that is earns, it is before the comparisons? You see? Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. yes. So guys, it, always when you're using comparison with verbs, the verb is going to be before the comparison part. You can say a mechanic earns less money than a lawyer. But also guys, you can uh, you can erase the word less, the, the, the word money. And you can also say a mechanic earns less than a lawyer. May I ask you, am I saying the same yes or no? Yes. 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 The difference is that the first one I have the word money and the second one I don't. But when you when you listen, the verb earns, you know that it's, it's <laughs> talking about money, right? So there is no necessary to emphasize the word money. You can put it with the word money or without it, and it's perfectly fine. But what I want to emphasize, guys, is that you see the verb continues before the, in this case, the comparison. Is it, is it is not understandable? Yes? Is it busy quizzy or no? So far so good? Yes. Bea, Ivan, Juancito? Yes. Okay, Bea, I want an example. Bea. Oops, remember that the verb is going to be before that. The, you can use more than, less than, or bad. It's, it's not necessary if you're talking about professions. You can use okay. another, anything else, okay? As long as you use it correctly. Verb, verbs. Yeah. The coffee mm -hmm. is very than a soda. Mm, that could be, yes, he's better than a soda. Okay, that's good, excellent. You're using the verb to be, excellent, very good. Now, uh, and you're using the verb, excellent. And now, Rafi, Alejandro, I want another example, but with a different verb, no is. We have a lot of verbs that you cannot imagine, woof. But uh, uh, always with a profession. You can use it with profession. You can also compare houses between apartments. Oof, whatever. Um, but always yeah. remember, the verb is be goes before the comparison part. Yeah. Um, mm, mm. <laughs> um, um, uh, A uh, doctor takes more risk than a uh, teacher. That's true. Uh, <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Very good. Very good. You use the word, the verb takes. Excellent. Excellent uh, job. Take. Very good. Rafita, can you give me an example? Okay, let me see. Uh, uh, Kia cars okay. are cheaper than Toyota cars. No. no, no, because you're using cheaper, and cheaper is not a verb. Oh, so it has it's to be. Verb. Yes, yes, exactly. You gotta use only one verb. Okay, so it's uh, Kia cars. Are earn than the Coyote cars? Mm -hmm. You can do that, yes. Are earn. Oh, yeah. Are you sure? Are, are less. Are less what? Uh, you got to use an entity, right? Less expensive. No. I only need a verb. Do not mix the adjectives. Oof, that's hard, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> I know. I know. 
Um, use the use are better which one than than a soda ah i know no nobody similar to beatrice no way <laughs> don't copy her use another verb another verb we have more than a hundred verbs that you can use come on ah, is and are no way Okay, let me see. Uh, a salad full is better. No, don't or use is this. Are better. No, don't use the bird to be. The bird to be is oh. prohibited. It's not allowed the bird to be anymore. Use another bird. Salad full. No, you can you don't talk about salad food. Talk about something else. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. oh, I don't know. <laughs> uh -huh. you, you have, don't tell me that you don't know. I will give you time, okay? For you to think. Don't worry, Rapita. I will give you time. Okay. Let me ask somebody else. Ivan, what about Maybe you? I need a little more examples. Yes, of course. Don't worry. It's easy. I will give you more example, but I want to listen to Ivan. Okay. Let me double check what you have. Ivan, what you have for us? A uh, motorcycle consumes less, consumes less gasoline than a car. Very good. Excellent. Consumes is a verb. Consume. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. Mariana, can I have an example, please? Hi, teacher. Good Hi. evening. Good evening. I don't know what are you talking about. <laughs> ah, we're talking about comparison with right. verbs. With verbs. And we're using more than, better than, worse than, less than, etc. But I'm letting them know that when you're talking about comparison with verbs, is there, the verb is before the comparison part. Before, more than, less than. For example, Mariana, I can say a teacher uh, earns, and that's the verb, earn, earns more money than a police officer, for example. That is an example. I'm not telling you that it's true, right? Oh, it depends on the country, okay. of course. It depends on the country. It depends on what kind of teacher you are. But you see, okay. in that case, the verb earns, it is before more than, right? Okay. So I want you mm -hmm. to give me an example of, like that. But using another verb, don't use verb to be anymore. Um, maybe without verb to be. <laughs> yes, without verb to um, be. We have more than 100 verbs that you can use. For example, Ivan says motorcycles consumes, a motorcycle consumes less gasoline than a car. That was right. You see, the verb consumes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So think about another one. Mm -hmm. Oof, that's tough. You can use, yeah. we have verb, we have get, we have pick, we have work, guys. We have demand. Eee! We got a lot, a lot of verbs. We have the work, for example, use a, use a, a, a sentence, Mariana, with the verb work or works, depends. For example, compare a doctor between a in, an engineer. Okay. Mm -hmm. And use the verb work or works, depends. A doctor works mm -hmm. in a hospital. No, but use the comparison. <laughs> Uh -huh. No, teacher, I don't know how to. Yes, of course. Okay, let's let's listen carefully. Okay, let I give you the first part. A doctor works. Which comparison you're going to use? More than, less than, better than. Which one? More than. More than. Okay. More. Okay. Okay. More than. Okay. Very good. You can say a doctor works more than. What profession? Any profession? 
No. All yes. the professions. All the professions. <laughs> no, no, no. But you can. It's, it's, this is hypothetically. Yeah, we're not saying that it's true. Okay. okay. We, we just do it for that for, for an example. As an example. More than a uh, um, pilot. More than a pilot. Okay. Very good. Okay. Good. Excellent. If we want to do that sentence more complicated, we can also add a noun between that. And also you can say, a doctor works more hours than a pilot. You see? Oh, mm -hmm. Yes. You see? <laughs> so, and, all, and also you can put it with, with the word words or without it. And you now understand that doctor is a harder work, right? And it, it works more time more time than the pilot, more for time. example. Mm -hmm. And also you can say the opposite way. Pilot works less, less. than a doctor, you see? And we're okay. using the verb work or works. That's what I want. Okay. Okay, so give me another example. I already help you. Come on. <laughs> Uh huh. Any other verb? You can oh also God. use a spend time. I only can think it with the verb to be. I think. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, that's why. Yeah, I know. I what I'm asking you that guys because all of you have been used to just verb to be, verb to be. No, no, no. And we have more than one verb. And I want you guys to use that, all the knowledge that you already have so far. And the only way is like that. Think about it. I know. And don't think in Spanish, please. Uh huh. Rafita, you have already an example for us. Yeah. Go uh, ahead. Let me let me try this one. Okay. Cool. Um. I feel better today than yesterday. I feel better. Today, today, than yesterday. Than yeah, yesterday. that's cool. That's right, right? I feel, feel. I feel better. Better, very good. Than you, yesterday. Excellent job. Very good job, my man. Excellent. You're okay. comparing. Excellent. You see, yeah, I even said like, you. you see, very good. Wow. Excellent, Rafita. <laughs> thank Grecia. you. No, thank you. Grecia, can I have an example, please? Okay. A lawyer. Mm -hmm. Spends more time in your work than a doctor. Very good. A lawyer spends, the word spends, right? Okay, it spends more time than a doctor in their job, you can say. Or you can say, Mariana, Mariana, Grecia, in his job or in her job, depends, right? But that's okay. Excellent job. Okay. Very good. In his, uh -huh, in his job, in uh -huh. his work. A mm -hmm. question, teacher. Go ahead, Ivan. When you don't know the gender of the person that you are talking about, you can use them. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Cool. Excellent. Uh, 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 Sonia, can I have an example, please? Uh, <laughs> Ay, teacher, you are, I know you're going <laughs> to ask me. Yes. Uh, a nurse. A nurse. Works. Okay. Works hard more than works hard. Lawyer. Works hard or works harder? Works harder mm -hmm. than than uh or also you can say works more than. But works more. more. Mm -hmm. More than a lawyer. Yes, very good. Excellent job. Excellent, excellent. Juancito, you have an example for us? Juancito, Juancito the best. Hi. Hi. Um, um, a doctor. Earn more money. Air or earns? Earns mm -hmm. more money more. than a nurse. Than a nurse. Than I, a nurse. But that's the example that I gave you. Ah, come on, Juancito. 
Think about another one. Uh, <laughs> you just change professions. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but that's good. Good try, one people. That's good. Um, <laughs> you can use professions or you can use something else. For example, um, uh, I don't know, teacher. No, of course, you know. Let me think. Ah, let, me let me think. think. Let me think. Okay, let me. <laughs> I will give you time, but I will come back to you. Okay, Iris, what about you? What you have for me? Um, uh, engineer work more than flourish. Very good. Work works works because you're talking about third person. Very good. Very good, okay. Iris. Excellent. Mariana, you have another example for me. I'm trying to understand. The <laughs> it's easy, Marianita. It's easy. All that you it gotta do is to put the verb. <laughs> no, but all that you gotta do is to put the verb at the beginning of. Uh, before the comparison part. So that's all. Mm -hmm. I know that you can, Marianita. You're a smart girl. Uh huh. Any other example? Who has another example? Ale, go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, I know. <don't> <laughs> okay. Okay. What's your question, my man? Uh, yesterday we saw that uh, comparison with nouns that uh, a verb um, before the comparison has more than uh, is it what is the difference between comparison with a noun and comparison with the verb that way comparison with the with the verb you can only use a verb before the comparison part and you cannot put a noun in the middle you cannot put a better in the middle you have to use only the verb Oh. And you don't use an auxiliary. For example, if you use is, just is. If you use uh, have, just have. But you don't say have something or have an odd. You cannot put two verbs. You can use only yeah. one verb. For example, the example that I gave you. A teacher earns more money than, mm, for example. We don't use the teacher is earned. No, we cannot do that. Okay, I get it. You got it? Okay, cool. Okay, Thank now, you. my pleasure. Guys, is it easy peasy queasy? Like horchata, like, um, I don't know, like water like or like like coffee or like tamarindo? Like chocolate. Like chocolate, tamarindo. Grecia. Come on, tamarindo. <laughs> oh, come on. And I was like, <laughs> ah, no, don't, don't tell me. All that you gotta do, guys, is to try to think about the verbs because I know that you know verbs. Oh, you know a lot of verbs. Teacher, I have a... A question. I have a, another. A doubt? Another, ah, no, an example. Okay, go ahead. Another example. I, I read, read my example. Yeah, you can read it. Go ahead. Okay. The architect designers build buildings. Builds? Building, builds uh -huh. better than the engineer. Very good. Excellent. You use? It's correct. Is, correct is it, it is correct. Exactly. Oh, it is okay. correct. You see, I even said, whoa, excellent. Now, Marianita, I think it's much better. Do you understand a little bit much better? Yes, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit, okay, I know. I know. Hey, you see, Ivan already wrote some information on the chat. He said, first noun plus verb, plus less or more, plus complement, then second noun. Would that be right, instructor? No. I'm just teasing you, Ivan. <laughs> oh my God, teacher. No, it's not complicated. Okay, all that you gotta do, basically, it will be easier. It could be verb, okay, plus comparison, plus complement. Like that. Easy. Okay, because all that you got to remember, guys, is that when we were talking about comparison, more than, less than, better than, worse than, as, as, isn't as much as, or is as much as, all that you got to do is remember is that 
when we're talking about comparison with verbs, you have to use the verb before the comparison part. That's it. With nouns, do you remember that the noun, we put it in the mirror, right? We, can, we said more hours than, for example. With adjectives, we also would put it in the middle. Less expensive than, right? But here with verbs, no. The verbs are before the comparison part. Teacher. Yes, Grecia. In this structure mm -hmm. for the, the sentences, mm -hmm. uh, using the, the, the subject mm -hmm. before the verb. Yes, no. yes, of course. Depends of what, how you're going to structure. It depends of the, of the situation. Exactly. Okay. Now, guys, are you ready for comparison with past participles? Oh my God, everybody's so happy. He's so happy. Yeah, I want to <laughs> learn that part. Yeah, it's going to be easier. Uh huh. You see, you see, only Ivan and Alice like, woohoo. Come on, guys. <laughs> Hey, but you know what? I, I got to let you know something because this one is a part, is an out of the box. I can let you know that. Guys, when we're talking about comparison with past participles, I got to let you know that we're going to use the verb to be again. I know that Beatriz and Marianita and Juancito, they love that verb to be by heart, right? Is or are. They love it. I know that. So welcome, guys. You're going to use it again. But guess what? We're going to use more and then the participle. We're going to put it in the middle. More than less. I'm not going to give you the participle. Yes. And guys, you got to remember the past participle of the verse. Okay. Doesn't matter if it's regular or irregular. And I let you know something, guys. Most of the time when we're talking about past participles, are uh, we talking about adjectives, verbs, or adverbs? Uh huh. Any idea? Mm. Rafa or Bea? I don't know. Bea? Adjectives? Uh, mm -hmm. No. In this case, when we're talking about past participle, most of the times are verbs. For example, remember what is the past participle? Uh, modify. Uh -huh. modify uh -huh. the, 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 mm. the verb? Not really. Not really. For example, past participle are are verbs or are no verbs. For example, pay is in is in present, right? Pay. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you, guy. That verb pay is it regular or irregular? Regular. Regular. So, what is the past participle of that verb? Paid. 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 All right. Very good. Paid. So that means that the past participle normally are verbs. But in this time, when we are using comparisons with participles, the participle is no longer the function of a verb. That takes the function of an adjective, guys. And I was like, what? That's why I'm letting you know that it's out of the box, okay? So I want you guys to focus 100% on that because I know that it's going to be a little bit harder. But if you pay attention to that, don't worry. You will understand it. So <clears throat> let me do it. OK, can you see these guys? Yes? Yes. yes. OK, cool. OK, what I want you to focus on is on this part, this one. You see, better than as well as okay guys this is really important <laughs> Beatriz you see we had the bird to be again are you happy <laughs> yes. yeah right yeah I know <laughs> yeah and also if you can see it man we have in a positive way and we have it as a negative way you see so you can say it comparison with participle guys you can use either positive or negative, whatever you prefer. Okay, guys, but take a look at here. I want you guys to focus on something. Here, you see, we have paid. What is that, guys? This is a participle, you see? 
Also, we have educated. This is a participle. You see that? We have that as well. You see, educated. So, guys, the participles. Uh, we put it at the beginning of the comparison, guys. At the end, or we put it in the middle of the two part of the comparisons. Take a look at the sentence, and you gave me that your answer, please. In the middle. In the middle, very good. You see, we have better than, so the, comp the comparison is here, right? Paid, very good. We also have a, as well as. So where is that compare, what is the, the participle? Here, right? Educated. Educated, very Educated. good. So guys, basically you put it exactly in the same place as an adjective or as a noun that we have learned before. Okay, the only thing is guys, that even though paid and educated, normally they are verbs, but in this type makes the function of an adjective. For example, is better paid than, let's do an, let's do an exercise guys, or a sentence with the first one, with this first one, okay? With this first idea, with this one, is better paid than, okay. Let me double check a sentence. Who can give me a profession, any profession? Engineer. An engineer. 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 Like this, engineer. An engineer, okay. We're going to use the first one. So what it, what comes next? Is? Is better. Is better, better, better paid, paid than. Paid now what? Um, Any other profession? Partner. Partner? Oh, no, no. Profession. Uh -huh. Then a mechanic. Mm -hmm. Then a mechanic. mechanic. Mm -hmm. Then a mechanic. Okay. Very good. Okay. Take a look at this one. Let me try to put it in a different way. Okay. Good. Okay, guys. Here, better. We and then, right? Those are the two parts of the comparison. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Okay. Cool. Now, where is the verb here? In this case, the bird that uh, Miss Beatriz and Mariana loves the most, <laughs> the bird to be, exactly. So, but here guys, where is the, the past participle? Mm -hmm. Where is it? Paid. Paid, exactly, exactly. So you see guys, even though we're using with present tense, but here guys, the, the participle paid normally is a verb. But this one here in this particular sentence, it is making the function, in this case, making the function of, of what, guys? It's making the function of an adjective. Let me put it here. Here, let's make it the function of an adjective. Of an adjective, even though this is the PP, this is the past participle. For example, if you would like to translate it into Spanish, how would it say in Spanish? Uh -huh. Ingeniero. Mm -hmm. Yes, Juancito? Uh -huh. Try to translate it in Spanish. Ingeniero gana más que un mecánico. Uh, ajá. Gana mejor, creo que sería. Ajá. Vamos. Okay. Mejor. Ajá. Es mejor pagado. Exactly. Very good. <laughs> Ahí quería llegar. That's the one. You see, it's better paid than. Es mejor pagado que. Right? Es mejor pagado. So this one, pagado, right? This is a, a past participle. But if you see, guys, eh, pagado. When you said mejor pagado, you have the idea of a verb or you have the idea of an adjective? Adjective. An adjective. adjective. You see? An adjective. You see? Even though you know that is a verb, but here, when you're talking about comparison, this past participle makes the function of an adjective. So that's what I want you to take a look. Let, let's do this, the second sentence. Okay. Now, guy. I don't take personally, okay? Because that this is just to make it an example. I'm not denigrating any profession, okay? So don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. It, this is just for um, Turn off the microphone. Uh, 
grammar purposes. Okay, let's double check, guys, something about the second one. Isn't as well educated as. Okay, so let's put this one. Okay, we can use, guys, the same example if you wanted to, or also we can use another profession, whatever you prefer. What if you use a student? Okay, let's use the student then. Okay, you can say a student, right? Mm -hmm. A student uh -huh, is what? Isn't. It's going to be the negative, right? Isn't. Isn't as well. Well, educated as what? A teacher. As a teacher. Okay, thank you. But that's not truth. <laughs> okay. okay, very good. So guys, let's identify it. Here, a student isn't as well as educated as a teacher. In this sentence, where is the comparison part? Where is it? Uh -huh. As well. As well as. As well as. as. Excellent, very good job. Okay, here. Okay, guys, where is the lovely and amazing bird to be? It's a new it. But let me ask you, is it positive or negative? Negative. 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 Okay, very good. Okay, let me do something here before we move on because I need to put it in. Okay, very good. Okay, very good. Okay, and here, guys, where is the past participle? Where is it? Educated. 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 Mm -hmm. Very good. Educated. Exactly. He's here. He's here. Educated. Very good job. Okay. So we already know that, okay? Excellent. So you see, guys, we this is the verb, right? Educate. Educate is a verb, right? Right. But since educate is I re, is regular verb, we put ed, of course, to transform it into past participle, educated. But here yes. is not making the function of a verb, it's making the function of an adjective. How you write this in Spanish? How you say that in Spanish? Educado. Mm -hmm. But oh. I want the, the complete sentence, the meaning in Spanish. How do you translate it? Un estudiante no, no está bien mm. educado como un maestro. Very good. Excellent. You see the difference? Okay. In that case, it's not educated. It doesn't make the function of a verb. It's making the function of an adjective. But mm -hmm. this one, guys, it is here. Let me check it out. This one. There you go. This one. But these two, paid and educated, both of them are what we call participles. You see? Okay. All yes. that you gotta do, guys, is to remember, and this one is to remember what is the participle or past participle of the verbs. That's all that you gotta do. Remember that. Okay? And that's it. Tell me something, which one is more complicated? This one or the verb one? The verb one, right? Yes. <laughs> Gosh, no, that is the one easy. Okay, well, this is what I'm gonna do, guys. Um, uh, have you seen the, 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 the four squares that I have for comparisons? Have comparison with adjective, with nouns, etc. I'm going to send it to you, okay? Just for mm -hmm. you to have it. Okay. Because it's really, it's really important that you have that. I'm gonna send it to you. So guys, you will know which verbs you can use and also you will know which comparisons you can use okay i will send it to you just for you to have it for future references so bear with me for a moment let me send it to you and that will be like a resume of what we have seen so far okay cool okay guys i already sent it to you you receive it yes yes right Okay, Yes. so also I'm going to do something else. What I'm going to do right now, guys, is I'm going to send you um, a writing exercise for you to practice. Okay. okay. In this one, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to complete the sentences using the words in parentheses. In parentheses, you will find uh, adjectives like interesting, dangerous, travel, but also you will find verbs like earn, train it, paid, etc. So basically what I want you to do, guys, 
is to complete the sentences using the words in parentheses, right? And I have to let you know that there is, there is not only one answer, more than one answer is possible. So this is what I'm gonna do. I will send it to you right now. And then what we're gonna do uh, when we come back uh, on Monday, well, if it's we're still alive, right? Uh, we're, we're going to discuss this, okay? We're going to compare uh, each paradox. Okay, so let me just a couple of minutes. Let me send it to you. There you go. Tell me, guys, when you receive them, please. That would be awesome. Did you receive them, guys? Yeah? That's it. Yes. Okay, yes. Cool. Okay. So basically, guys, on this on this uh, exercises that I sent it to you, you will practice all of them. Everything that we have seen, you're gonna practice comparison with nouns. You're gonna practice comparison with adjectives, with verbs, and with comparisons, and with and sorry, with past participles. Okay. But you need to figure it out which one you're going to use. That will be depends of the word that you have in parentheses. If you know, for example, hey, let me ask you something. The word interesting, is it noun, adverb, past participle, or adjective? Adjective. Adjective. So you're going to use comparisons with adjectives. What about train it? Is it an adverb, a verb, a noun, an adjective? What is it? Or a past participle? Train it. The word train it. Past, past participle, very good. Past, past. So you're going to use comparison with past participles, okay? That's what I send into this kind of exercises for you to practice. First, guys, what I want, my recommendation will be that identify the words in parentheses and say, okay, interesting. This is an adjective, so you put adjective there, right? Like an abbreviation. Then you go, train, for example. This is not an adjective. This is not a, a, a noun either. Is it, it's already in ED, right? Trained it. So that means that it's a comparison. Uh, sorry, that is a past participle. You put PP, okay? PP. Okay. And then after you have identified each word that is in parentheses, it will be much better because you will know what comparison you're going to use, okay? And take a look also, guys. Don't look at me like panic, Rafa. Like, <laughs> that's why I send you the, the squares that will help you. The first, the first picture that I sent it to you, that is okay. comparison with adjectives, with nouns, with verbs, and with past participles. So you will know, guys, which verbs you use, which comparisons you can use. Okay? That's what I sent it to okay. you. And based on that, you can do it. Practice makes perfection. Right. Yeah. All right. Any doubts, my man? Any questions? Feel free to ask, please. Uh huh. No, everything is clear. Like water. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay. I know you're tired, right? I'm going to be nice. Yeah. I'm so happy, guys, that even though it has been a really tough day for you. Maybe like Marianita, right? You arrive a little bit late because of your job, the traffic, whatever. But you make an extra effort to be here. And that's what I'm happy every time that I see you, okay? I'm so happy. I like Alejandro. Maybe he was like, oh, a lot of work to do today. But he's still here. And that's cool. What is Lulu, Ale, by the way? What is Lulu? Oh, she is outside in the living room. <laughs> On the other room? Uh, well, I don't yeah, she know. Did well, also chestnut. Chestnut. <laughs> I don't know where is chestnut. He was he was here like like that. But uh, well, he went out. I will send you guys a picture of chestnut. Okay, when he was a little baby like this. Yeah. He, he yeah. was he was like a teddy bird. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and now he's uh, like the middle 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 class. He's bigger. He's big. You see, wow. he's bigger than bigger his than. father. <laughs> you see, adjectives. Bigger Adjective. than. But yeah, and whiskey <laughs> is smaller than chestnut. You see? <laughs> uh huh. 
or also whiskey is older than chestnut. You see, you see that we that we use comparison every single day. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh, you see. Yes. Yes, Ale. How can I say that? And um, maybe they are the same. As us, I... as us. Remember, as us. For example, whiskey is as big as chestnut. For example. Oh. You see, they have the similar. Oh, that, that would be depends on what you're going to, to use in the middle. You can say you can use an adjective, you can use a noun, depends. Okay. But as oh. as is equal. For example, you can say a doctor uh, earns as money as uh, as much money, sorry, as much money as a surgeon, for example. It's an example, right? In this case, uh, when we use as well, is not the same? As well, yes. Oh. It is the okay. same. The difference is that you use as well as. Hey, that is what is something that you need to figure it out. Because, for example, in, let me let you know, when we're double checking. Yes, as well as. You see, guys, that comparison with past participle, that is, if you notice, that is the only the only comparison that is different from the rest. Because as well as we only use it with past participle, we do not use it with nouns, with adjectives and with verbs. We don't use it. Take a look at the, at the square that I sent it to you. It's the only difference. It is the only different comparison. So that is really important. Thank you so much for noticing that, Ale. Well, thank you. <laughs> okay, guys. So I wish you the best. Go sleep, play games. Have a great dinner, drink a cup of coffee, whatever you want, or watch TV. <laughs> okay. Uh, a papaya shake. Thank you. Bye bye, guys. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Good night.